Hey there, Ben Lipper here. We've got another awesome robot video for you. Go ahead and check this one out. Now, if you're looking at this robot and you're thinking, hey, maybe that's something I'm interested in building, there's a link underneath this video. You can go ahead and click it, enter your email address, and I'll email you basically a whole bunch of pictures of this robot. So go ahead and look at it, take inspiration from it, figure out what works well, figure out what doesn't, and incorporate that into your own robot design. That's what iteration in robotics is all about. Now, what's really cool about this robot is that it has a huge rolly grabber on the front. It's kind of like, you imagine a vacuum cleaner, right? When you're vacuuming the floor, you don't have to stop and the vacuum cleaner like pick up each individual piece of dust with claws. It just like spins and because it's spinning, it automatically picks up all the dust. In the same way, or a very similar way, we don't have vacuum pressure here, but in a similar way, this robot has a spinning roller and as it runs over cubes, we don't have to stop and pick up each cube. We just run over it and the fact that it's spinning actually allows us to pick up those cubes. It makes us pick them up much faster and much more efficiently than we would if we had to individually pick them up with a claw. And it even lets us pick up and hold more cubes at a time than we probably could if we had even one of the best claws. So like I said before, if you're interested in this, you want to take inspiration from it, you want to build something even remotely similar, there's a link underneath this video. Go ahead and click that. And I'll send you a whole bunch of details kind of on how this robot's built, on what it looks like. Other than that, though, as always, like and subscribe, and I can't wait to see what you build.